Caudism in a nutshell. What is Caudism? The term Saudi literally means high tower or palace, that is, the place where God reigns over the universe. Saudi refers to God the Father, the supreme being, the creator, the ultimate reality of the universe. The followers of Duk Saudi are thus called Kaodists, Duk means venerable. The Sao Dai religions, are Kaodaism's official name is Dai Dao Tam Ki Fa Du. Translated directly it means, the third great universal religious amnesty. Dai Dao, great way. Tam Ki, third period, Fa, to announce, and, to save. It will be a period of intense religious activity that will see God and humanity united in ways not yet imagined. The third amnesty establishes a new great way for salvation. And the fundamental objective of the third amnesty is the unity of all religions. Throughout human history God the Father has revealed his truth many times. His divine message has been translated through the mouths of many great prophets. But always these messages have relied on human frailty. The age has now come where he speaks to humanity directly. The previous two religious amnesties saw the rise of Hinduism, Judaism, Confucianism, Buddhism, Taoism, Christianity, Islam etc. Caudaism as the embodiment of the third amnesty comes to unite the traditions of these two periods. It does so guided directly by Duk Sao Dai. God the Father, and the Divine Beings. One of the early messages received from him went as follows. Formerly people of the world lacked means of transportation, therefore they did not know each other. Nowadays, all parts of the world are explored, humanity. Knowing itself better aspires to real peace. But because of the very multiplicity of religions, humanity does not always live in harmony. That is why I decided to unite all these religions into one to bring them back to the primordial unity. 1926 In the 19th century Spiritism reawoke the religious life of Europe. Great souls such as Madame Blavatsky, Alan Kardec and Victor Hugo opened new vistas of religious possibility. In Vietnam the age-old traditions of Asian divination and Taoist mediumship began to mix with the new traditions of European spiritism. This meeting of Eastern and Western traditions caused an evolutionary leap in humanity's spiritual quest. Thus a strong communication link was established between heaven and earth. It was through this special link that God granted his third amnesty directly. Though it was announced to the humble and grateful nation of Vietnam, the third amnesty is a gift to all. Emphasizing this objective of unity, inside every Sao Dai temple, is a representation of the divine contract of the third amnesty, the third alliance. This contract between heaven and earth is written and presented to humanity by the venerable saints, Victor Hugo, Sun Yat-sen and Trang Trin Nguyen Bin Kim. Their mission is to guide humanity into the way of the third amnesty. The contract is written in French, Du et humanité amour et justice, and in Chinese, Tian Shang Tian Sha Bo I Gong Ping. This translates into English as, God and humanity, for, love and justice. Some history from 1921 His Venerableness Go Van Chu, a district head of the French administration in Cochin, China, was the first disciple to worship and receive messages from Duk Sao Dai. He received a vision of the Divine Eye which is now the symbol for Duk Sao Dai as well as the focus for worship on all Sao Dai altars. The Eye is a universally potent symbol of the Divine. For each chaotist the eye represents our spiritual heart. Thus emanating from the eye is the light of the universe. This light is our spirit, a part of God. 
On Christmas Eve 1925 God identified himself to the first group of chaotist mediums which included their highnesses Pham Kong Tak, Sao Queen Ku, Sao Hoai Sang. These great souls were to play an essential role in the growing religion. On the 7th of October 1926 His Excellency Levan Trung, a former elected official of the Colonial Council of Cochin China and a member of the Conseil de Government de l'Indochine, and a leading group of 27 chaotists, the first disciples of Sao Dai, signed the Declaration of the Founding of the Sao Dai Religion, and presented it to the French governor of Cochin China. The declaration also contained a list of 247 believers. On Thursday, the 18th of November, 1926, 14th day of 10th month of the year Bin Dan, Year of the Tiger, Shengxiao, an inauguration ceremony took place at Tu Lam Pagoda, Go Kian, Tay Ninh Province, South Vietnam. The ceremony was planned for three days, but the arrival of an overwhelming number of people who responded to the call of the new religion, caused the ceremony to last for three months. From this auspicious beginning, Caudaism expanded and was welcomed with much ardor by the people of Vietnam. In the first four years, the religion attracted half a million people. This demonstrated that the world was ready to receive the third amnesty into their hearts. Communication with the spiritual realm is made possible by special seances held in the Great Divine Temple. Such techniques as Ouija board and Corbeil Abek, spiritualist writing instrument, are operated by a number of especially selected mediums and together they convey the words of the divine world to the religion. Today Kaodist communities are spread across Asia, Cambodia, Japan, North America, Europe, and Australia. Believers now number about 5 million. Organization The Fap Chan Truyen, the religious constitution of Caudaism, was delivered to the religion as a series of divine messages. The Tan Luit, the new canonical codes, was corrected and approved by the spiritual realm. These are the guiding texts of the religion's organization. Caudaism is organized into three powers. The first power is the Bat Ki Dai. This is the heavenly council, that is, the spirit and soul of the new religion. This council is directed by Duk Sao Dai, God the Father. The Heap Thien Dai is the medium's branch of the religion and the legislative body. Headed by the Ho Fap, protector of the laws and of justice. This section communicates with the spiritual realm directly in order to receive divine messages. It also deals with the complaints of the disaffected in order to ensure justice in the religion. The third, or executive body, is called the Ku Trung Dai which takes charge of the administration of the religion and its missionary activities. This branch is headed by the Gao Tong or Pope. All Kaodists are able to be involved in the priesthood and executive of the religion. This includes both men and women who are of a virtuous and upstanding nature. The process of election to these positions is based on democratic procedures which have to be sanctified by the spiritual realm. The holy city of Kauti is a 90 kilometers northwest of Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City. In Tay Ninh Province is the Kaodaist Holy See. This great city of God is an incredible demonstration of universal love. At the center of this city stands the great divine temple. This temple, like the religion, is a fusion of world influences. As well as being a major center of pilgrimage, the Kaodaist Holy See is also one of Vietnam's major tourist attractions. There are also many splendid local temples throughout Vietnam and around the world. The fundamental principles of Caudaism From a moral point of view Caudaism reminds people of their duties towards themselves, their family, their society, our broader family. And humanity, the universal family. 
From an ethical point of view Caudaism encourages us to renounce our attachment to the material world. While still maintaining a balance between our duties to humanity and the planet, and the following of the way. From a spiritual point of view, Caudaism confirms, in harmony with all religions, the existence of our souls and the spirit world. Furthermore, Caudaism offers a step-by-step -step path that leads to full spiritual completeness. Worship Caudaists worship God the Father and the divine beings with all their heart. They also venerate the great religious prophets of history and honor the ancestors. There are four daily ceremonies, that is, at six o'clock, midday, 1800 and midnight either at the temple or in front of the home altar. More important ceremonies are held at the beginning and middle of each lunar month. There are special anniversary ceremonies for God the Father, Duk Kai Tun, Duk Sao Dai, Universal Mother, Duk Fat Mao, the founders of the world's faiths and the original dignitaries of the religion. Ceremonial prescriptions such as actions, dress and music were organized in detail by God the Father. These include ceremonies for initiations, marriages and funerals. Particular attention is paid to death and it has been revealed to the religion how the soul journeys towards heaven and how, on earth, co-religionists can pray for souls to help them on their way. Life of a Chaotist Adept Caudaism does not encourage its adepts to renounce the world, rather it suggests that, in parallel with their religious obligations, they discharge their familial and social duties before they dedicate themselves completely to the faith. At the most fundamental level, adepts are asked to follow the basic values of all world religions as summed up in the five interdictions. Do not kill living beings, do not be dishonest, do not commit adultery. Do not overindulge, especially in alcohol, and do not deal in falsehoods. Adepts must observe a vegetarian diet of six days a month, for the first six months after becoming a believer, and thereafter for ten days a month. Those in the more elevated sections of the religion, Thuang Thua, must practice vegetarianism at all times. In addition to the above interdictions Caudaism encourages social harmony through the ancient Confucian values. Ren, Nyan a highly regarded Confucian term meaning benevolence, where one must understand his or her position in life and pay respect to one's fellow beings, Yi, Nia that is, the upholding of righteousness and honesty in all that we do in both business and affairs of a personal nature. Li, Liu which refers to the revered rituals of politeness and respect that encourages social harmony, G. Try that is, moral knowledge where one must know right from wrong. And Shin, Tin which is faithfulness, where we must all be faithful to our promises and to our filial and social duties. To translate these ideals into reality, Chaodists are asked to contribute their good works to the religion and its charity organizations, Lap Kong, spread the word of the third amnesty, Lap Non and uphold the religion's virtues, lap duck. Ultimately bringing all these principles into balance, as a guide for a fulfilling religious life, allows the adept to move on to the next phase of spiritual or esoteric development. This esoteric stage allows each adept to seek unity of purpose through meditation. In the three treasures, San Bao, Tam Bu, of our nature. These are elements of ourselves. Our body, vitality, the root of essence and life, Qing, Tin, our energy, mind, life force. The gateway of life and death, Kai, Qi, and our soul, spirit, director of our life, Shen, Than. When all these treasures of our nature are unified, the adept can then break through the cycles of karma and reincarnation, and be united with the divine. Some sacred texts 
Kin Fin Dao Va The Dao. Prayers of the Heavenly and the Earthly Way. These are prayers for worship and for daily living. Fap Chan Truyan. The Religious Constitution of Caudaism contains information on the election of officials, their powers and ritual dress. Tan Luit, the new canonical codes. These are the laws regulating religious, secular and monastic life. Tan Nan Heap Tuyan, compilation of divine messages. The sermons of His Holiness Ho Fap Pham Kong Tak. In summary. Caudaism is a great house of faith that welcomes in all peoples of the world. For the establishment of a universal brother and sisterhood without distinction of creed, race, sex, social background or color. Caudaism is organized and administered on both divine and democratic principles. Men and women play an essential part in both the administration and priesthood of the religion. Caudaism preaches world unity. It spreads the offer of peace made by God through the Third Alliance. Caudaism presents the world with a real chance for unity and understanding between the great cultures of East and West. By offering a way of life that concentrates on the harmony of all religions, Caudaism can also offer harmony to a troubled world. Providing spiritual solutions for significant world problems such as racism, intolerance and ignorance. As a great house of faith, Caudaism combines the teachings of all the great religious traditions and opens before us the great way to paradise. For further information, please see the following website.